Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, Lisa 1A, 1B, and 1C. I hope uh, while you are listening, while you are watching to this video, lecture video, that you are in a good condition and then that you are feeling well. And I hope kaya pa ng person, no? especially now that you are doing a lot of things. I hope you still find time to uh, watch this lecture video so that you will be able to pass your um, uh, final examination and then our course this first semester. But before uh, I dive in with the topic, I really... I really, really hope that you are okay, that you are happy, that you are feeling well. Um, please, may I, may I ask to please put a smile on your face. Um, and I know you are doing uh, your part as a student and then that you are really, really are dedicated with your with studying and learning the lessons. I and I want to say to to keep uh to keep doing your best and to keep putting the work that you do in every day, in every subject that you have consistently day in and day out. And then one day one day you will wake up and you will realize that you already living the dreams, living your dreams and everything that you have paid for. So I want you to know that your hard work will eventually pay off. Maybe it seems not to pay off right now at the moment, but eventually in the future, I know it will. Don't stop doing good. Don't stop doing what you do best and do not stop learning so i hope i hope you are enjoying the process as a college student and i hope that you are because progress progress or progress will not be seen um agad -agad. so it takes time so if it seems blurry at the moment, please trust the process and enjoy the process. And with enjoying the process, enjoying the process of learning, I have a what if. What if we discuss na natin tong agronomic classification of crops? Okay. So what if? So with that, um, just a simple reminder. I know every one of us is dealing with a lot of work, especially. Uh, academic work of yours. So, keep hanging on. Um, lilipas din to, matatapos din to, and malalampasan natin ang mga workloads na yan, mga final examinations na yan. Basta huwag kakalimutan na syempre alagaan pa rin ang sarili at humingi tayo ng uh, knowledge, wisdom, at lakas. Okay, mula sa ating Panginoon, sa ating Ama, para gabayan tayo sa mga gagawin natin bago matapos ang taon na ito. So what if nga, itopic na natin tong agronomic classification of crops. So sa agronomic classification of crops, paano ba natin masasabi na uh, agronomic? Okay? Paano masasabi na ito ay agronomic crop, ito ay horticultural crop? Okay? So crop okay, itself is any useful plant or plant which grow or any purpose. Di ba nga sabi natin, lahat ng crop ay plant, pero hindi lahat ng plant ay crop. Kasi yung iba, they just grow without any economic benefit. Though may benefit sila, syempre plant, nagre-release ng oxygen, and pwede yung pagkain ng mga insects and other animals. Pero ang main focus natin when we say crop is for economic purposes to realize profit in agriculture. So crop is utilized by people directly or indirectly grow or process. So these plants are intentionally intentionally grown so talagang gusto nating itanim syempre or manage for various uses. 
On the basis of tradition, extent of cultivation, and intensity of culture, agricultural crops are classified into two main divisions, the agronomic and then the horticultural. In terms of intensity of culture, paano natin siya tinatanim, paano natin siya inaalagaan, ayun, hahati siya sa dalawa. The agronomic and then the horticultural. When we say agronomic, it is also called as field crops. They are mostly annual herbaceous plants that grown under extensive or large-scale culture. Yung mga usually na tinatanim natin in a large area with an extensive culture, ibig sabihin, hindi siya gaanong maalaga, hindi tulad ng pag-aalaga natin ng rose, o kaya pag-aalaga natin na, ng mga prutas, binabag pa natin isa-isa yung bunga. No? Itong agronomic crop, alam nga, uh, malakihan na yung area na tinaniman mo, tapos kada bunga, ibag mo pa. No? So, Uh, ayun siya, extensive. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya gaanong maalaga, hindi tulad ng ibang halaman. So, the agricultural classification of plant or crops based on their primary use include the following. So, yung, yung agronomy crops, may further classification pa siya, which includes okay, which includes saan tayo, sorry. Uh, ayan. Yeah. Which include, include the following classes. Oh, may yan, yan classes na yan. Kamali lang siguro ako nang lagyan ng side. Agronomic crops are staple food crops such as rice, corn, beans, and wheat, which are produced on a large scale and represent a foundation for human food supply. Agronomic crops also include cereal or grain, grain crops, legumes, pulses, or seed crops, For food, feed, and industrial use, pasture and forage crop, fiber crops, sugar crops, and starchy root and sugar crops. So, unahin natin si food crops. Food crops, it is said that the plants are grown primarily for the harvesting of any part which is used by people as food or processed into food product. Yung tinatanim natin ng malawakan, uh, extensive Uh, culture of cultivation, pero ang gamit nga is pang pagkain. Okay, that is food crop. Example nyan, rice, corn, and then wheat. Next, the cash crop. Ito naman, hindi siya pang pagkain ng mga crops. Okay, kaya siya tinawag na cash crop. Hindi siya for food. Hindi siya intended for food, pero agronomic crop siya. So, these plants are grown for the production of non-food products such as fiber, fodder, fodder, pagkain ng hayop, alcohol, and for... Um, nicotine or tobacco. And tobacco, pagdatanin ng tobacco, kasi before, ma, pag nagtatanin ng tobacco, hindi rin naman siya gaano ma, masela, no? Pero, hindi siya pang pagkain, okay? Cash crop siya. At saka malaki yata yung kita kapag nagtatanin ng tobacco. Next, staple crop. Staple crops are food crops, okay? They are food crops. These are regularly consumed in a traditional diet from which people obtain the major proportion of their energy and nutrient requirement. Sa ibang bansa, ang kanilang staple crops ay wheat and millet. Sa Pilipinas, we have rice. Okay? Next, cereal or grain crops. Cereal or grain crops are mainly annual, herbaceous plant belonging to the grass family which are grown for their seeds or grain. Anong example? Corn, millet, rice, sorghum, and then wheat. Kasi nga, cereals yan eh. Corn is a cereal or grain crop. Kasi yung each kernel, grain yon. O yung rice naman, yung each spikelet niya or each uh, grain niya din. Okay? So, grain crops. Next, legume seed crops or pulses. So, legume seed or pulses are leguminous plants which produce edible, rich protein seeds. Kaya minsan pag kumahain ito, di ba, nakakapagparayuma daw kasi masyadong mataas ang protein content. Kung gusto mo ng plant-based protein, ito yung kakainin mo, mga legume seeds or pulses. Example, cowpea, peanut, and peas. Next, root and tuber crops or tuberous crops. Root and tuberous crops are plants with modified modified swollen root or underground stem. Okay, pwedeng swollen root or underground stem tulad ng uh, tuber. Okay. 
These organs are rich sources of carbohydrates, mataas sa carbohydrates or starch, and are commonly used as staple, livestock feed, or as raw materials for industrial purposes, such as starch and alcohol production, or processed into various food products. Ayun, yung root and tuberous crops, ito yung mga crops na tinatanim on a large scale and intensive, uh, uh, extensive cultivation na kung saan yung mga roots nila no, nagkakaroon ng massive uh, storage of starch or carbohydrates. Next, the oil seed crops are plants grown for their uh, seeds which are rich source of edible and industrial oil. Example is Sunflower. Sa Pilipinas, no, ang sunflower ay hindi gaano tinatanim on a large scale, pero sa ibang bansa, yan, they are planting sunflowers on a very large scale. Next, sugar and sweetener crop. Sugar and sweetener crops are plants grown primarily for the production of sugar and sweet tasting products. Anong example nito? Yung sugar cane. Next, beverage crops. Saan madaming tanim na sugar cane? Sa negros. Okay? Negros. Next. Beverage crops are plants which are sources of various drinks. Drinks including fruit juices. Example, coffee and tea. Yung siya, ah, yung green tea. Okay, next. Rubber crops are major type of plants that are grown for the production of latex or yung kanilang tagta which is processed into industrial product called rubber. Next, latex and gum crops are very typical plants. These plants are grown for the collection of latex, which is processed into chewing gum, inelastic rubber, and other industrial products such as surgical tapes and dental supplies, insulation, splints, pipes, golf balls, waterproofing, and adhesive, and etc. Okay, latex and gum crops. Yung pinagkaiba niya sa rubber, ito kasi pinaprocess siya into rubber. Yung isa, for mga ano lang, uh, mga chewing gum and other uh, inelastic rubbers. Next, dye and tanning crops are special kind of plants. These plants are grown as sources of tanning or coloring substances. Tanning is an aromatic phenolic substance which is obtained from barks and other plant organs, and variously used in tanning, medicine, dyeing, ink manufacture. Pang kulay, okay, dye. Diba yung dye, uh, ano pag sa dye, pag, basta lalagyan mo ng color, diba? Yun, yung mga crops na uh, pwedeng pang kulay, or yung may substances sila na mga kulay. Okay, next, fiber crops. Crops. These plants are grown as sources of fiber using uh, fiber used in making textile, ropes, twine, and similar materials. So the fiber is, is extracted from the bark, leaves, or other organs, including the husk of the coconut. Kasi di ba yung husk ng coconut, ano yun? Mabunot, okay? So fiber yun. Or ano pa, pinya, abaka, ayan, may mga fiber. Next, pasture and forage crops. Pasture and forage crops are very essential varieties of plants. These plants are grown as managed as vegetable feed for grazing animals pa, pakain natin sa mga hayop. Soilage crops are grasses grown, cut, and directly feed to animals. Guys, pakitandaan nyo itong pinagkaiba ni soilage at ni silage. Pag sinabing soilage, Yung tinanim natin pasture, for example, nagtanim tayo ng nap year, okay? Pag kinap natin yun na fresh, tapos binigay natin agad sa ating alagang hayop, that, that is called soilage. But when we cut the nap year and then we chop it into pieces and nilag pinerment natin, nilagyan natin ng molasses at ibibigay natin sa ating alagang hayop after several months or weeks, okay, kung saan wala ng fresh na damo, that is called silage. Silage, where the grasses is grown, cut, fermented, and preserved before being fed to animals. Next, biofuel are special type of crops that are grown for the production of fuel that is used as additive or replacement for petroleum products. Example, sugar cane, corn, coconut, castor bean, and chatropa. Okay, so let's move on to the brain exercise. First question. 
which is not an example of agronomic crop. Which is not an example of agronomic crop. So A, tomato, B, sunflower, C, rice, D, corn. Correct answer is, okay, tomato. Next, rice can be classified as the following except A, food crop, B, cereal or grain crop, D, legume or pulse crop, uh, sorry, C, legume or pulse crop, and B, staple crop. Rice can be classified as the following except food crop, cereal, legume, staple. Correct answer is letter C, legume. Next, coffee and tea are examples of hash crop, latex and tanning crop, beverage crop, and then pasture and forage crop. Okay, so hindi ko sasabihin ang tamang sagot. Please comment the correct answer in the comment section of this uh, video. Okay, and then the first commenter would win 30 pesos load. Okay. Next, napier grass is an example of ash crop, latex and tanning crop, beverage crop, pasture crop. Okay, napier grass is an example of ash crop, latex and tanning crop, beverage crop, pasture and forage crop. Correct answer is, correct answer is pasture and forage crop. Porridge crops, not here. Next, crops, crops are, what is that? Sorry, crops that are. Huh? Ah, sorry. Sige. Crops that are grown, cut, fermented, and preserved before feed, being fed to animals. Okay? Crops that are uh, grown, cut, fermented, and preserved before feeding to animals. Correct answer is? And then, mamili pala kayo, silage or soilage? Again, crops that are grown, cut, fermented, and preserved before being fed to animals. Correct answer is? Silage. Very good. Thank you for listening. On to the next video.